Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I am going to be going through Sephora collection and sharing everything from that line that is fungal acne safe. Roll the footage. So if you guys are not familiar with this brand, Sephora Collection is a line put out by Sephora itself to offer beauty junkies an affordable option. So everything in this line is $40 or less, and it gives you the quality formulas that you know and love at a better price point so you can still shop and enjoy all of the benefits at Sephora. So I know Sephora is making some headlines right now because they have this new chemical-free policy and they also have a lot of the green at Sephora promotion type thing going on. And I'm not 100% sure if any of that is going to affect this line in the future, but as of this moment in 2020, September of 2020 specifically, all of these products I have done the research on and are safe for those of us with fungal acne. So the Sephora collection offers a wide range of makeup products and skincare products, and in this video, I am definitely going to be covering both of them today. By the way, to put this out there, I have not used any of these products. Well, I've used maybe a handful of them myself, but if you guys have, go ahead and tell me what you guys think of them in the comments below, just because I am gonna be getting my hands on some of this stuff in the future, and I wanna know what your favorite items are that I should check out too. So let's do this. All right, so the first product that I wanted to mention is the Weekend Warrior Tone Up Cream. Now, this is a very lightweight product. It's a sheer veil that's been inspired by K-Beauty, and it is gonna be the perfect thing if you're just kind of a slap it on your face and get out the door weekend kind of a vibe person. It comes in seven shades, and it costs $16 for a tube. The next product is the Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. This product comes in 16 shades. It is a little bit more expensive at $18 for a tube of it. It's supposed to be for people who don't really like to have that weighed down makeup cake-like finish to their skin. There are two foundations that you have to choose from, and the first one is the 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. This one comes in 61 shades, so that is very, very impressive in my personal opinion. This is supposed to be a weightless buildable coverage and it is formulated with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E so that it is really smooth and pretty on your skin. It's gonna give you a really nice natural finish and it costs $20 for a bottle. And then the second foundation is the Matte Perfection Foundation and it comes in a 22 shade range, so slightly less impressive, not slightly, a lot less impressive. And it is a full coverage. It's supposed to be long lasting, waterproof, smudge proof, all that good stuff. And this is gonna be the highest coverage that they have within this range. They actually didn't have this one at my store, so I wasn't able to see it in person, but it is also $20 for a tube. So that covers your foundations. And then there is actually one concealer that they have available as well. It comes in 15 shades and it is the Clear and Cover Acne Treatment Concealer with 2% salicylic acid. So it's gonna be doing that job of fighting all of your acne bacteria while it is on your skin. And it has a matte finish. It is $14 for a tube of that. Now, powder-wise, you guys, there are technically three, but two of them do have one ingredient I'm just gonna lightly touch on. The first one is the Beauty Amplifier Pressed Translucent Powder. It is $16, and it is just a translucent powder in a set compact to set your makeup with. Now, this product does have an ingredient called Zinc Sterate in it, which is an anti-caking agent, and it has a few other factors that it's used for. This is an unverified ingredient, so we don't know whether or not it causes malassezia to feed on it or not. And so use this one at your own risk is kind of my best advice when it comes to this type of a thing. If you're highly, highly sensitive to malassezia, you might wanna skip it. But personally, I would feel totally fine using this product myself. The second powder that they have is also Beauty Amplifier, and it is the pretty much the same product, except that it's the loose translucent powder. And this one is completely safe. There is no zinc stearate in it, and it also costs $16. Honestly, that's probably the one that I personally would prefer anyway, just because I like to have the loose powder in the control of that whole situation. They didn't have this one in my store, so I couldn't physically pick it up, but it's definitely available online. Again, same exact price, $16. Now, if you guys are looking for a pigmented powder foundation type of a product, they do have the Matte Perfection Powder. It comes in 35 shades, so a decent-ish range. It has a nice medium coverage matte finish. It is $20, and this one, again, does have the Zinc Sterate, so like I said for the first product, 
just be aware of that, patch test it, do what you must, and if you have any issues with it, then I would discontinue use. There are two eyeshadows, and I feel like a lot of you guys are not gonna care about the eyeshadows because I feel like, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, um, you guys don't really wear eyeshadow on a regular basis, and I might just be one of those people who just does because that is definitely part of my daily routine, but drop an eyeball emoji in the comment section below if you guys are with me on the I wear at least a neutral eyeshadow every single day for my regular makeup because I'm very curious to find that out. If you are someone who wears the eyeshadows, then you're in luck because the Sephora Collection Colorful Eyeshadow is something that there could be a lot of options within. Number 362, which is the color shade name Let's Party, it's one of the glitter formulas, is definitely safe. It does have zinc stearate in it, so again, just be aware of that one. And I have a sneaking suspicion that a lot of the colors are going to be formulated safely and just have zinc stearate, so if there's a color you're interested in, then you should do some more research on that specific color and decide if you wanna use it or not. I did used to use their shadows pretty regularly before my whole fungal acne life experience, and I actually think that the formulas are really, really solid. So if you're missing your old palettes and all of your old stuff like that, I think these would be a really good alternative for you. Again, I can't say that for every single shade in the range, and it varies, and they update it a lot, so just go and check it out for yourself. By the way, each of those eyeshadows is gonna cost you $9. And then I'm really excited for the next product. It is the Sheer Liquid Eyeshadow. There are two formulations of this. You have a shimmer formulation and a matte formulation. Only the shimmers are safe for fungal acne. The matte ones, ironically, right, are not safe. These are $10 a pop, and they are a more neutral shade range, but these were like calling my name big time. I wanted every single color, and I had to do everything within me to resist them because I have plenty of makeup and didn't really need any of them. Now it is time to get into eyeliner, and let me just tell you that the Sephora Collection eyeliner options are kind of limitless and kind of obnoxious. So with these eyeliners, I'm majority of these formulas are going to be in neutral colors, so you're thinking your blacks, browns, things like that, but a couple of them do have multiple shades, and it's going to vary a lot based on the color of the eyeliner. So within one type of an eyeliner, one color might be safe and another color might not be. Some of these are only available online, at least at my store they were. So again, I would just check every single one of these according to the actual color that you're going to buy. First up, we have got the Colorful Wink It Felt Tip Liner. It is waterproof and available in five shades. They're all more neutral, but there is a white, there is a blue included among that range. That pin will run you $14. The Sephora Collection Long Lasting Eyeliner with a high precision brush. It is only available in a black option and it's supposed to be a very fine tipped precise eyeliner. This one is going to run you $12 for a tube of it, so it's a good option if you guys are looking to really get that fine, like almost tight line type of a look. Next up, we have the Sephora Collection Intense Ink Liquid Waterproof Liner. These come in two finishes, so we've got a metallic finish and we've got a satin finish. There are six shades within the satin range and there are two shades within the metallic. They're each $12. I think this product was more among the colorful options, so it's a really good one. However, they do contain tocopherol and vitamin E, and when vitamin E is synthetic, it is safe for fungal acne, but if it's naturally derived, it can sometimes have trace amounts of soybean oil in it, so you just wanna verify. I would patch test these and just make sure that you don't have any sensitivities to them if you're gonna use them, and that's specifically in the satin shades. Next, we have the Sephora Collection Hotline Brush Tip Liquid Eyeliner. This one only is available in black, so that makes it easy, and um, it is $14. It's fungal acne safe completely, so I wouldn't worry about that one. Another liner. You guys ready? <laughs> it is the Sephora Collection Fine Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in black. This is a $14 product. It is an ultra fine tip yet again, and it is supposed to be the perfect thing for tight lining your eyes. So if you're looking for that option, 
this apparently is supposed to be a good one. It's waterproof and it has up to, I think, yeah, 12 hours of wear. So it could be a good option for you. Yes, I was delighted to see some brow options here. First of all, we have the Sephora Collection Clear Brow Gel. It's only the clear brow gel. It comes in a white tube with a black lid and it is $12 for that item. And I feel like it would just be a really good thing if you're someone who needs brow gel, you know that you need it, you know how it goes. So this is something good. I was really bummed out because I wanted to buy that and they didn't have it at my Sephora, so I'd have to get it online. The next product that they have brow-wise is the Microblade Effect Pen, and this is a really good option. Online, they only have this product available in one shade. It's called Universal Deep, it's the number two, but in person, they do have other colors. I only checked the Universal Deep color and it's definitely safe, so do your research if you buy a different shade. I think you guys are going to be really shocked by this, <laughs> um, but there is one mascara and it's not a traditional mascara, go figure, but they do have the Glitter Mascara Top Coat and it's available in a gold glitter and a silver glitter and it is $10 for a really large tube. To be honest, I saw these in person and when I saw them online, I already wanted them, and I had to stop myself buying because I really do not need glitter mascara for every day, but I think that if you are like a Halloween person or you just like to have fun with makeup, this is something that could be really fun for you to enjoy. So go and grab it if your heart so desires. And by the way, I also think that it would be a really cool thing to do like glitter eyebrows with, so that's probably, I'm gonna have to go buy some just to try it out. I have two makeup products here. One is on sale and it may not be available because it was a limited edition type of an item, but if it is available to you online, I would go and snatch it up. It is the Lily Lashes Times Sephora Gold Digger Palette and it is six individual pans of highlighters, contour shades, and blushes and they are fungal acne safe. I know it does contain one synthetic wax that could be problematic in the fact that if you're super, super sensitive, your Malassezia yeast could eat on that wax and develop, you know, more over time, but it would take a really long time. Therefore, the vast majority of you guys, it's gonna be okay for, but if you're super sensitive, I would avoid it. However, it's currently on sale for $20, so if you're really intrigued by it and you see it in person and you like what you see, I would snatch that sucker up. And then the other thing that I really wanted to buy, there's a lot of these things, have you guys noticed, is the glow stick. And they have it in two different shades. And it also does contain a wax that could be problematic for some. So a cautionary tale here, yet again, just make sure that it is working for you, but it's something that I'm not afraid to give a try. And they literally are like highlighter sticks and they're only $8 and they're just to get that dewy, like glossy look and you guys know how much I really love that. So it's a good option. Um, I'm probably gonna have to buy these online since they didn't have them in my store either. All right, we are on to skincare and I'm going to kick off skincare with masks because you guys ask about masks all the time and they're not something that I use very frequently, if really ever anymore, but I wanted to make sure I included these because they have quite a few options in their Sephora collection. I'm gonna start out with sheet masks. So there are seven total sheet masks available. I'm just gonna read down my list really quick. They're all $5.50. So you have a green tea option, which is gonna be anti-blemish and mattifying. You've got an aloe vera option, which is replenishing and quenching. Pearl is gonna be brightening and perfecting. And the lychee is gonna be brightening and moisturizing. That one was really speaking my name in the store, but I didn't pick it up. You also have one of their eye masks. It's the cucumber one, is soothing and depuffing, and it's safe for you. And then there is a couple of super masks. There's one called the charcoal mask that is safe, and there's another one that's called the bubble mask. Now, bubble mask is technically safe. However, um, it does throw up some little like unverified questionable ingredients. So I would actually probably, if you're gonna get any of the masks, I would do that one as a last resort, and I would stick to those green tea, aloe vera, lychee ones first. On top of that, they do have two types of nose strips. There's the regular nose strips and there's the charcoal nose strips. They're $3 for a little pack of each one and those are both safe. I don't use things like that hardly anymore, so that's why I never talk about them, but if you needed to know that, now you know. 
The final mask that I wanted to share with you guys is actually the one I also purchased and it is the Sephora Collection Overnight Glow Mask. It has hyaluronic acid and glycolic acid in it. You guys know I talk about how much my skin loves glycolic acid all the time and really since I started my fungal acne journey I haven't had any products with glycolic acid in so I'm really excited to have purchased this. It came in this little tub of 1.69 fluid ounces and it cost me $16. So I'm gonna start using this and I will give you guys a full review when I have more details on it. But I'm super, super excited. This um, particular little set of items, all the packaging like this, really reminds me of The Ordinary and they actually have a lot of products that are similar. Not all of them are fungal acne safe, so stay tuned and we're gonna go through all of what else is. So let's do cleansers. There are two cleansers that I wanted to mention to you guys. The first one is the Clarifying Cleanser and Mask. Now this is a duo product. You can use this product as a cleanser by just cleansing your face with it and then rinsing it right off. Or if you wanted to use it as a mask, you can leave this on for two to three minutes and then rinse it off afterwards. Um, it has salicylic acid and glycolic acid in it, which you're gonna find almost all of these next set of products that I mentioned have those two items in it. So I think it would be a really good thing. The next one is the Clean Skin Gel Cleanse and Tone. And it has beetroot syrup as the ingredient in it that's supposed to be life-changing. It's another one that could be a really good option. I like that it has the gel texture because it will remind me a lot of like my Bioderma Sabium Gel Moussant. And so I've been thinking about giving that one a try. It's part of their Clean at Sephora collection. So just a heads up, if that's something you're into, then that would be a good option for you. All right. Clear Skin Days. That is a line that they carry at Sephora. It's got the yellow packaging. The first product that I'm going to mention by the Clear Skin Days range is the Clear Up Patches. Now, these are like little zit, you know, circles. You guys know what I'm talking about. And they're $10 for a pack of them. I'm going to be like completely honest with you guys. I do not really think that these are a worthy like buy in any way, shape or form, but some of you guys like to have those novelty products. And if you do, then I just wanted to let you guys know that these are available, but you know, whatever. The second thing is the Clear Skin Days Spot Eraser Stick. It is 2% salicylic acid. So it's just a spot treatment. It is $6 for that item. Could be a totally viable option if you're looking for something like that. And then the next thing I have are the Clear Skin Days Acne Clearing Drops. And this one, actually, I really want to get on to, and I should have actually just picked some of these up while I was in the store, but they are a mix of zinc, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. So I feel like these would be really good because I love my zinc and niacinamide from The Ordinary. It's a great product for decongesting your skin, but then add that salicylic acid and you're gonna get like triple the benefits from this product just because it's gonna really help your pores clear out and stay clean looking. So I think that this is a really good option if you guys are looking for something like that and it's only $11. So go and grab that one, I kinda wish I had. Whew, clear skin days ahead, man. We've got the Clear Skin Days Brightening Peel Pads. These are formulated with salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and niacinamide, so yet another really solid option. This is another product by them that I'm really wanting to try, so once I finish with my Stridex pads, if I happen to be in the market at Sephora, I'm probably gonna pick these up just because I wanna see how good they really are. Um, these were sold out at my store, and they're sold out online right now, so they clearly speak for themselves that they're really good. If you guys have tried these, you have to tell me below and you have to tell me how obsessed you are because I need to know whether or not I need to like get on that wait list for them, you know, and pop on there and buy them the second they're available. We got some more pads, some more peeling pads, guys. Next up, we have the clarifying peel pads. These are salicylic acid and glycolic acid. So this is gonna sound really familiar to you the whole time because most of these clear skin days and most of these like clearing products have salicylic acid or glycolic acid, which really excites me too, um, because I think you'll get a lot of bang for your buck. Those clarifying peel pads are $15 for a pack of 60 pads, so good option there. And then we also have the Sephora Collection Glow Peel Pads. And these are glycolic acid. These ones, again, are $15 for 60 pads. They also have a mini version of this product, so you can get 20 pads for $8 if you're just looking for something a little more travel size or to give it a, a little trial run with your um, skin. Another clear skin day, are you guys ready for it? 
Um, we have got the Clear Skin Days Clarifying Serum. This is a glycolic salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid mixture. So this one really intrigues me as well. I think this is another product that you could get a lot of bang for your buck out of. I just wanted to highlight though, you hear me saying all these products, I wouldn't buy this whole range and use all of it at the same time. It's just unnecessary. You're not getting a variety of good ingredients. You're, all of it is the same stuff over and over again. I really think when you choose what to buy, it all just depends on how and when you wanna introduce this into your routine. So are you gonna use it at night or in the day? Um, and then just work it into your routine, give it a go. And if you like the products, then try a different one another time of day. Um, in the future. We've got the Clear Skin Days Mattifying Booster Powder. Now this is an oat based product and it's supposed to reduce the shine on your skin and calm your skin, have a calming effect. And you're supposed to use it by mixing into your moisturizer or your serum and then it's supposed to kind of give you I guess that mattified version of things. Um, could be a really good option to be honest with you guys. I think this is a weird product and it's obviously has a very specific target audience so if you fall in line with that target audience go and enjoy this powder. If not, just leave it behind. We've got another Clear Skin Days. It is the Clear Skin Days Overnight Dual Correcting Solution. This is an actual bottle that has a side of salicylic acid solution and a side of glycolic acid solution. It's $14 and you can either pump from one side and just use that in your skincare routine or you can pump a little from each and use them together. So it's kind of a pick and choose. Again, it's just, it's the same ingredients over and over. So if this is something you're interested in, I would get this and I would use it at night. I think we're out of the clear skin days for now, but there could be a surprise one at the end. Who really knows? We've got another pad here. It is the Hydrating Booster Pad and it is formulated with aloe vera and hyaluronic acid. So it's supposed to be very plumping and hydrating and all that good stuff. Um, 60 pads for $15 yet again. I think this is like a cool idea. If you have a really good moisturizing routine, I kind of don't really see the point in this product, but I'm not saying, you know, don't get it. I'm just saying this probably isn't where I would spend my money. Next up, we have the pH Balancing Toner. Now this is just kind of a good old fashioned traditional toner in the fact that it is skin pH balancing. It's $12 for the bottle of it, and this is supposed to be anti-pollution and hydrating to your skin, but you don't really have to have a toner because most of your products these days are formulated at a pH level that is ideal for that product and your skin, so it's not so necessary, but if you guys are really into toners and you just really want one, it's an option for $12. We also have a clarifying lotion. This is an acne clarifying lotion. It is a mix of AHAs and salicylic acid, so again, I would totally put my money on the fact that there is gonna be glycolic acid and maybe some other acids in it, probably lactic or something else because it's AHA blend plus salicylic acid. $16 if you're looking for something like this could be a good option. We are rounding it up here with three serum options for you guys. They are all targeted for a specific niche and they each cost $9. We've got the Grapefruit Glow, so if you're looking for glow, go Grapefruit. We've got the Mushroom, which is protection, so if you're looking for some, I guess, environmental protection, I'm assuming is what they mean by that, go for the Mushroom. And then if you are looking for some really solid moisture, you can go with the Lychee option. Now, all of those are safe. They also have another one that is hemp, but the hemp version is not safe for fungal acne, so steer clear of that one, stick to that lychee or something else. All right, so don't forget you guys, I have not used the vast majority of these products and I am very curious to know what you guys think of them and if you have used them. So if you have, tell me what you've used, tell me what you think about it below and we will get to chatting there. Now, I would normally link all of these products, but there are so, so many, so I'm not going to be linking all of them in the bar below. Instead, I'm going to provide you guys the link to my blog post on this exact same topic, and there will be links in the blog post to all of those products so you guys can shop them at your own leisure on brooksbeautybazaar.com. Otherwise, come say hi to me on Instagram at brooksbeautybazaar where I hang out every day and be looking forward to some very exciting news from me soon.